right, ladies. Um, I finished the album, the Quebec Mini, for my daughter. Um, she actually is back from her Quebec trip, but she hasn't seen it yet. She doesn't know that I've made it. But um, I've done it, so I'm going to show it to you all. It uses the in-home paper collection. And it's got the big jumbo binding rings. So I think they're two-inch rings with lots of pretty fibers on there. Um, the Quebec word is at a grunge board. And there's cream of flowers with some flowers that I got at Michael's in the wedding section. They have black glitter in them with brads in the center. I die cut a fleur de lis and used platinum beauty on it. I have a little charm with a suitcase on it. And then put the date May 2010 on there on a little um, jewelry tag that I punched out from the Stampin' Up! Punch. And it's some bling. I also distress the edges with walnut stain. This is the first page. Uh, there we go. I use I cut out out of grunge board using my new Tim Holtz flour, flourish die. Cut out a flourish. I sponged it in the peel paint and then stamped um, the some French script on there. I made a tag and photo mat. This is a photo mat. I stamped the stamp on there. There's nothing on the back but the edges are distressed again with walnut ink. It just fits in there and then this tag. A little charm on it. And place for journaling. There we go. And then the next page, I made a pocket by tearing, um, adhering three sides of the piece of paper and tearing the edge. I distressed it, added some glimmer misted lace in Riptide, added a prima flower with some prima bling and a flourish. Um, this paper already had glitter on it, but I made two tags. This one is just a Tim Holtz. Um, journaling ticket. I stamped the crown. I added some glossy accents to it and some bling to the top of the crown. Uh, I may add some lines to the back. Then I did some stamping on this one. I added glossy accents. The heart. The oh, there you go. You can see. And um, some flourishes, the sentiment, and journaling lines on the back. On the next page, uh, I used one of the little um, glassine envelopes from Stampin' Up. I ran it through my cuddle bug folder, the one for the script. I added a tag insert, butterfly, and some journal lines. Um, used a Tim Holtz mini paper clip to attach an adage ticket. Cut out the Baroque frame. Um, with my Tim Holtz dies, added some bling, for accenting, and stamped some flourishes along the edge. Um, all the edges are done with um, the Tim Holtz on the edge die, and they all match. They're all the same one. This page, I really like this little mini book I made. I um, let's talk about this page first. The back of the page, of course, I distressed the edges like with the other pages. I <coughs> used the negative from the front fleur de lis as a mask and I glimmer missed it in the tie. And then I also you can see over here I used um, perfect pearls to add some fleur de lis off over the page. It's bound with um, a piece of elastic silver cording with a metal rim tag. And then this is the insert. This is journal notes. This is pewty beauty. Pewter. Pewty beauty. <laughs> Pewter beauty for this flourish. And then I just used walnut ink and stamped the flourish on the next two. 
And then there's also a spot for journaling, and it just says confidential on each one. <laughs> Pewdie Beauty, <laughs> that's funny. Bet I can't edit that one out of there. I don't want to start all over. Okay, so that's that page. <laughs> this page, whoops, there we go. I'm going the opposite way. Um, I embossed a flourish here, flourish here, and I used some distress. Um, embossing powder, so it's really rough feeling. Um, I tore this piece of paper on both sides and distressed it, and then I used platinum beauty and embossed three uh, circles and added a gem bread to the center one, which I custom colored. And the elastic from the other page just happens to run up there, and then it has this fabulous little insert, which it looks really cute, but it actually was a whole bunch of mistakes that it made it look like this. But anyway, <laughs> um, the size I intended it to be actually ended up being too big for the pocket and sticking way out over, so I had to readjust the fold line, and then I got this little spot down here, so I turned it into a journal spot, I added a flower with some more cream of bling, and on the back, this part just folds over to hide the brad, and then it also has some journaling and stamping, which my stamping under the end of there, I didn't like how that turned out, so it's covered over. And then there's a little corner stamp there. And then this photo turn is actually from the Tim Holtz Vintage Findings. It is the keyhole that cuts out, and it makes a great little photo turn. So that's what I used it as. And then inside, I got a photo mat and some journaling spots and another photo mat. And that's the inside of that one. And I should have been looking at the time because I don't know how much time I got left. But anyway, then this is just a piece of paper used to make a pocket on the bottom. I used a um, Stampin' Up metal frame. I put an adage ticket in there, and it's up on dimensionals. It's sticking up off the page. And then I added some lace here. I'm not sure if that's Prima Lace. It was a rack given to me, and so I don't know. I don't have any Prima Lace to compare it to. Um, the fibers that I used in here on the tags are from um, Creative Fiber Arts, and they're really pretty colored fibers. Um, I just stamped. The tags are very similar, but not exactly the same. Stamped some images. I added some watercolor crayons to color my roses, and then some glossy accents over the top. On the back, I just made spots for journaling. There's another fun page. Sorry. i got to go the opposite way that I think when I'm showing the page. I used a Prima Camelot flower and another grunge board flourish that I've just inked in walnut stain. Um, I've added a little journal label there with a clip and there's lines on the back but you can't get it off. I did some um, perfect pearls for the flourish and then this just opens up and inside you put a photo mat and then there's a journal spot up there. And this is the last page. Um, it has a removable top note photo mat with a butterfly and a journal spot on the back. And then it also has this. Let me back up. Oh, let me zoom out so you can see it better. It has a double slider. I love double sliders. And I just embossed the word cherish um, in a brown embossing powder, added some flowers with some gold dauber to accent it, and um, that's for Minnie. I hope she's going to like it. Uh, I had great fun making it, and I love being able to make stuff for a surprise. So I hope she enjoys it, and I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Thanks, ladies. Bye.